What's it like to be Instagram famous by accident? Instagram is crazy. I can't believe it happened to me. I was just making these little videos. I remember sending this video of this Maltese and she just turned to the camera in slow-mo and I just caught her in the wind and I was like, ooh, I was moved. I sent it to her owner and her owner was like, this should go viral. When Jess Rona was starting her career as an actor, like most in Los Angeles, she needed a side hustle to support her dream. Well, I started off as a bather, and it was the least nine to five looking job I could find. My boss was like, can you put this lead on the lab in there? And I looked at her and I said, what's a lead and what's a lab? That little encounter ended up leading her down a rabbit hole toward directing a music video and appearing in a TV show alongside Zoe Deschanel. I'm a weird, rare Los Angeles native. It's also very weird that I am an actor. Usually, people from LA don't want to be actors. Before, I would have to prove myself all the time. Like, hey, I'm really an artistic groomer. And now people seem like they're honored to have me groom their dog. Like, please groom my dog. I would love that. And I'm like, really? Like, me? Do you have something on Sunday? My husband has his fantasy baseball. Working league. on New Girl was so extremely fun. I know Jake Johnson, and I groom his dogs. I groom Zoe's dogs as well. So I walked on set, and I knew everyone. And I was like, ooh, I'm home, baby. New Girl was my first TV show that I ever did. And it was absolute heaven. I was clicking my heels, jumping around. I was so excited. So I'm showing you my favorite? Yeah. Is this like OK lighting? Yeah, it's good. OK. Thank you, Reese Witherspoon, for reposting this. You made my whole year. I'm such a fan of hers. This is Diesel. <laughs> oh, Diesel. Hey, dear dogs, thank you for letting me blow wind on you. Love, Jess. Can I do a little splash of color on her tail? Whatever you want. I was told to tell you, you have full range. I love this type of client. Why isn't everybody like that? I think my favorite thing about grooming is people's reaction when they pick up their dogs. You know how great it feels to give a gift? You just see someone's reaction and it fills your heart. I get to do that all day. It's really rewarding to get a stinky, yucky dog come in and the dog gets to feel better. We condition, we do argon oil face masks. I mean, we hook these dogs up. One of my favorite types of comments is when people say, I've been having a really bad day and your Instagram has helped lift my mood. I get to spread love. There's nothing better than that. Nothing better. Nothing better. <laughs> okay, this picture got so many comments. The longer I look at this, the more I violently shake with laughter. I totally get excited when people like my stuff. My favorite thing about this Instagram is spreading pure joy, especially during the 2016 election stuff. I just wanted to put out dogs. Like, here you go, heal the world, here's some dogs. Just let me give you some dogs. I've gotten so many opportunities for my Instagram. I got to direct a Tegan and Sarah music video. I got to direct a liquid plumber commercial starring a gorgeous standard poodle. Instagram has changed my life. Do you feel that acting has now taken a backseat to learning? There you go, Mimo will chime in. <laughs> The cool thing is, is that both worlds are colliding. Instagram has helped me consider myself a director. I feel like I'm a weird hyphenate. Director, actor, dog groomer? It's like, what? That's like a weird, it's weird. I get to be creative and that's the main thing I want to do is just create.